some bratwurst burgers, which I used mustard on. And I had some breakfast bratwurst, which I used cocktail sauce. I thought they tasted like cake. Anyway, I also had some onion rings, and I put ranch dressing on them. And then I had some hot dogs, which I put ketchup and mustard on. And I had some onion rings. I think I put used ranch dressing on them. Might have been ketchup, but one of the two. All right, next day I had chili dogs, no condiments used for those, but onion rings again, and this time I definitely went with ketchup. All right, today for breakfast I had an egg, cheese, and ham sandwich, and I used ketchup on that. All right, here are the condiments, and these are the levels that are on right now. The ranch dressing looks like it's full, but you look at the black mark, that's where it actually is. Folks, it's Violet Vic here, and today we're gonna play us some blackjack. Yeah! Right. One card for you, one card for me, one card for you, and another card for me. Alright, that's the king. Alright, let's take a look and see what you got. Alright, oh, you got you a king. And you got you a two. So that is 12. All right, so what are you gonna do next? Are you gonna stand and keep what you got? Or are you gonna take a hit and get you another card? Remember, you gotta get a higher than me, but not go over 21, okay? What you gonna do, put your answer in the comment section. Let's play us some blackjack. Yeah! Stephen Michael. Five 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 three four nine one. What about Hillary? Five 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 one six three one. Welcome to the five 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 phone book, where we find five 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 phone numbers and movie intelligence and put them in a five 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 phone book. Okay, today we got something different. We're taking some five 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 phone numbers from a TikTok video where they were made just for that TikTok video. Okay, so the TikTok video comes from Melissa Kristen TV. Check that channel out. And it's basically about how some of us once had to memorize phone numbers. Yeah. Anyway, she gives out five 555 phone numbers, and now we're going to put it in the 555 phone book. All right, there you go. In the 555 phone book. Okay, you wanted a hit? Where? Well, there you go. Five. That gives you 17. So, once again, what are you going to do? You going to take a hit, get you another card, or are you going to stand and keep what you got at 17? It's your move, buckaroo. What you going to do next? Okay, so this week's trivia question, sticking with definitions, what do you call the little towers that are on top of a barn? You got like the barn roof, and then jutting out of it, you got these little tower things, sometimes they're shaped like domes. What do you call those things? They're used for ventilation, apparently. The little, little towers on top of a barn. What are they called? That's the trivia question. Put the definition in the comment section. Let's see if anyone gets it right. Okay, you're gonna stand at 17. Let's see what I got. I got an ace. And that makes you 21. I win. Well, better luck next time. Yeah! Sex with Joe Biden or bring back slavery? You know what's fucked up about this question is potentially I could see something like this happening where the Republicans, seeing how terrible they've become, they would uh, repeal the 13th Amendment, bring back slavery, and for some reason our only option to prevent this would be to please Joe Biden. Because that's kind of how things feel right now. you got the Republicans, they're leading us into fascism, they're taking the books out of the libraries, they're putting the kids through boot camp. And Joe Biden, it's like he's doing nothing to prevent this. He's not intervening. He's got all this power. He's not using it. But we're still expected 
to like this guy, to give this guy money, and to vote for him. So, yeah, I could see this scenario falling out where the only way to prevent slavery would be someone... All right, tomorrow, February 2nd, is Groundhog's Day. And, of course, people are going to be celebrating it. And they're going to want to know what uh, Punxsutawney Phil, Woodstock Woody, Staten Island Chuck, and so many other groundhogs are going to predict. Are we going to have a longer winter or an early spring? Here's the thing. I don't believe in Groundhog's Day. I don't think these groundhogs can really tell us what's going to happen. If a groundhog could predict the future, then how come we've never seen a groundhog win the lottery? Hmm? Bullshit. He's the President of the United States. He's got all sorts of powers in his position. He's got all sorts of federal agencies at his disposal. He has all sorts of federal statutes and laws and hierarchies that would back him up if he wanted to take on one of these state governments. But he won't do it. And it is a deliberate choice on his part. You look at Ron DeSantis, what he wants to do with the Florida schools. Biden could put a wrench in that if he used the United States Department of Education, which falls under him. He's in charge of them. He could cut off funding to these Florida schools using the United States Department of Education. Now, this would probably mean that DeSantis would close a bunch of schools in Florida and he'd have all these kids who wouldn't be going to schools, but that would be better off than the schools Ron DeSantis is setting up. Biden will not take on DeSantis. He won't use the United States Department to t take him to the courts over, you know, I'd say like the rights of these LGBT kids. He's not going to fight for anything. You know, as far as the Supreme Court, he could have packed that with liberal justices in the first two years that he was in office. He made a choice not to do it. We are in desperate times, and he wants to be a mediocre leader, and he's going to put everything on us, the voters. You know, we're supposed to vote for him. We're supposed to support him. We're, we're supposed to pitch in $5 here and there for him to do absolutely nothing. No. Bullshit. Groundhog's Day in 326 days till Christmas. They say our love won't pay the rent for it's earned our money's all been spent. Happy Groundhog's Day in 326 days till Christmas. But at least I'm sure of all the things we got. Welcome to Groundhog's Day in 326 days till Christmas. Now don't you worry none, buckaroos. Violet Vic here, and I know what to do. I'm gonna go take care of that balloon. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>